Yo, Rips is here and welcome <coughs> to NBA 2K22. Mm-hmm. But today, guys, I'm here to put you guys on to the best jump shot in this game. You guys know me, I am the jump shot plug. I've always been plugging y'all up with the best jump shot since 2K17. But before we get started, make sure you guys hit that like button and make sure you guys put on that post notification bell. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Uh, I know this channel is kind of dead right now. I know I have haven't really been consistent on this channel, but I'm going to change that. Uh, I've just been super active on my second channel. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the second channel. A link will be down below in the description as well. But you guys are here for the best jump shot in the game. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys my badges and what settings to put on so you guys can optimize the jump shot to its best um performance so first things first you guys want to go to the option slash quit tab go over to controller settings you guys want to make sure your shot meter is off if you guys don't know already you guys should know um the shot meters give you a slight boost to your jump shot timing and your green window so if you guys don't have it on um you're just putting yourself at a disadvantage so make sure you guys turn the shot meter off and also i also believe that the shot meter um is kind of delayed in the game that's just my personal opinion. I don't like using shot meter. Every time I used it, it just doesn't work well at all. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is my badges. You guys can copy my badges if you guys want to. Um, it's honestly your personal preference and your play style. But I'm going to show you guys what badges I have on. I'm going to show you guys the main badges that you really need. And everything else is just optimal. Well, not optimal. Your opinion um, in this way. So first things first, you guys want to make sure you guys have these two badges on. Um... If you're if you're a dribbler at least but the main badge that you guys need on this year is hot zone hunter like it says in the description shots that are taken in the players hot zones are given a boost so you're gonna get a boost for shooting in your hot zones and 90% of you guys or 99% of you guys have hot zones around the arc or around the whole court me personally I only have hot zones on the three-point line I don't have any in, in the middies close anything like that just straight up in the mid range um but yeah that's really the main badge you need this year um, you guys could put on stop and pop depending on if you're a guard or not um, Like it says right there boost shot ratings and stand still three points after dribbling So if you're a dribbler, you're gonna see this badge pop up a lot and the second most important badge I just saw and it is sniper you guys want to put sniper as high as it can go Basically all your whites are basically gonna go in for slightly late or slightly early I'm not gonna say all of them are gonna go in but majority of them are gonna go in 2k labs did a um, video on this badge is super effective So you guys want to put this as high as possible They honestly need to nerf this badge because I'm tired of so many whites going in this game But it's whatever so you guys want to put it as high as you can um, so you guys can make more shots but everything after that is just your personal preference. I use green machine so I can keep getting more greens. It's not the same way it was last year where you needed three greens in a row to, for it to pop up. It works after the first green light, surprisingly. Um, then Deadeye, I'm kind of iffy on this badge. Um, sometimes it pops up, sometimes it doesn't. I might go back to running on bronze like I did last year. Um, but I'm waiting for 2K Labs to make a video on it before I drop it that low. So I have it on Hall of Fame right now, but I, I kind of suggest it on silver or gold. I don't think you need it on Hall of Fame but yeah and you definitely need blinders um if you're a guard at least this badge i know they nerfed it a little bit but it's still working good and after that you're really set to go everything else is your personal preference if you're a spot up get catch and shoot and corner specialist um a lot of you guys have been asking about limitless spot up and chef i don't like these two badges you don't need them at all um limitless spot up only works if you're catching a shot like if you're, your sending gets a rebound he passes out to you and you're that far that's the only time it pops up. Chef, you have to be 30 feet from the basket to take a shot. I don't think it's worth it at all. So I don't run in any of these badges. And I shoot amazing with these bad without these badges. So <laughs> you guys should be fine. Um, but yeah. Um, after that, you're pretty much done with the um outside settings. Um, if you guys don't believe my shooting, let me see if I have a what's it called? A clip. I'm pretty sure I do. Or a screenshot of my shooting. I'm pretty sure I have one somewhere. Where is it? Right here? Seven days ago, yeah, I think this is the one. You see rips eight for eight, seven for seven from the three-point line. And yes, they touched the ball. You guys see, they touched the ball. It was 15 to 23, I shot eight for eight, seven for seven from the three-point line, so I'm pretty sure I'm a good shooter. This is on the twos court as well. So your boy rips really be balling out. I know what I be doing. 
But if you got, if that's not enough for you guys, I'll show you my sh park shooting percentage. I don't think it's the best, but we'll be about to see. <laughs> 2K card um, and stats. I shoot 65% from the three-point line, so that's more than most people. <laughs> I should, I really should be shooting 70, but it's whatever. Um, but anyways. I got all that stuff out the way. I'm going to show you guys what the jump shot looks like and then show you guys what the jump shot is. So first things first, y'all want to go over to um, the Gatorade rental court or you can go to the mobile court, any court, honestly, just so you guys can practice jump shot after y'all get it. So I just go to the rental course easier because there's always people playing on the um, rental courts. I'm um, not rental courts, uh, mobile courts and whatnot. So I'm a reserve court right now and I'm not going to cut none of my whites out greens or whatever i'm going to keep it 100 with you guys i'm not going to be that youtuber that only shows you green lights or whatever because you're not going to green every shot i'm gonna be honest with you you're not going to green every single shot that's unrealistic but uh our quote is right here so let me show you guys what it looks like and then get you guys in and out of this video so get the ball i haven't played i don't, I don't think i played yesterday so i might be a little rusty so we're gonna take a shot when did i get gary so say so right here that's a moving shot. I still greened it. Don't really matter. This jump shot is water. <laughs> you guys won't be upset with this jump shot. So we're gonna go here. Big whites. It's gonna go. Oh, reverse. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, boom. Do the step back. Boom. Another green light. Off that. And if you guys want a dribble tutorial, get this video to 30 likes, and I will get you guys that dribble tutorial. Because a lot of you guys have been asking me, reverse. How do you do that? Oh my god. And all that bullshit. So boom. Another green super easy guys this shit is water it's cake boys it's cake i need i don't know why they put turbo in here like stamina i mean i don't know why they did that it's just I'm making this more shots because i'm tired now and i don't feel like waiting 30 seconds to take another shot so my stamina bar goes up and whatnot but you guys see the jump shot is clean um super quick it's not the fast this is not the fastest speed you guys can put it on i don't like putting on fastest speed because i don't see a point I mean, I do see a point, but it's just easier for me to time if it's um on this speed. So I'm gonna get one or two more shots up and get you guys out of this video. But your boy rips, bringing out the shit as always. Green light, <laughs> just chilling. I'm, I'm not even concentrating. I'm just honestly talking to you guys and just doing this shit. Cause boom, I hate that the shit spins. Oh, oh my god, boom, oh, oh. So we're gonna take one more shot. Boom, big whites. It's gonna go in because the sniper clearly. But you guys get the point. So boom, another white, whatever. I don't care. Um, so on. Anyways, let me quit this. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the jump shot. I already know this jump shot by heart. So let's get into this shit. So first things first, you guys wanna go over to um, where is it go? Where is it at? My player, go to animations, jump shot creator, and here we go. So for your lower base, you guys want to go over to page, what page is it on? Page 7 and go over to jump shot 98. You guys know this is one of the best bases in the game. But according to 2K Labs, you guys can swap, swap out this on base you guys want to. According to 2K Labs, base 38 and D-Wade are one of the best bases in the game. Um, But I personally like 98. That's just me. I, I use weight on my last jump shot. I like 98 better. But if you guys want the best, the best, the best shot you guys can go with d-way to 38 but 98 is just the one for me then after that you guys want to go to the upper release one and you guys want to go over to um page 14 and put on rudy gay rudy gay you guys know i don't have to say too much about this jump shot you guys know from if, if you guys been playing since 2k15 you guys know already <laughs> this shot is water um but yeah then upper release two you guys want to put rudy gay again so you guys want to go to the same page and put on rudy gay and then all you guys want to do is put the blended speed. Like I said, this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, if you guys want the speed all the way up, you guys can do that. I don't do that. I personally go one notch down, which is 75%. And then blending, it doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. I do. I usually do 70, 30 just because it's the same jump shot. It really doesn't matter. And then, then you guys go. You guys have the best jump shot. You guys see 98 RG, 98 Rudy Gay. You guys can save it. Make sure you guys equip it because I don't want you guys coming back saying the shot is broken when you have your old jump shot on. So make sure you guys equip it, and then you guys are set to go. You guys want to go to the mobile court or the Gatorade facility, and then just practice a shot. Like I said, it's super clean. Once you guys get the hang of it, I don't know why that was early. <laughs> Once you guys get the hang of the jump shot, you guys will be fine. Um, but the shot is clean. You guys know. I, I wouldn't lie to y'all. This shot is water. And this is my actual jump shot, too. I'm not one of those YouTubers that be like, 
showing you guys another jump shot that I that they don't use. So boom, super clean. You guys can't go wrong with this. But your boy rips, bring you out the best jump shot as always. So if you guys can do me a favor and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and for the channel, it would be much appreciated. Make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys put on post notification bells and leave a comment down below. Yeah, actually, comment down some jump shot. I, I need to try out some of y'all jump shots because some of y'all be saying y'all got better jump shots than me. So I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna make a whole series on that. So comment down your jump shot, and I'm gonna make a video on that. Um, but your boy Rips is signing out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. But I'm gonna see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.